in this forecast. The tropics are getting very active across the Atlantic Ocean. There are three areas of development, including two that could become tropical storms within the next three to four days. All of these details are coming right up. Tropics are beginning to get very active across the Atlantic Ocean. We now have three areas of development. I'm going to give you a breakdown in each individual one and where it's going to be tracking over the next several days. Let's first begin, though, with the more concerning system that is currently on track to get close to the Lesser Antilles within the next three to five days. This is a system as of right now that's Invest 91L. It sustained winds around 35 miles per hour. It's not overly organized. It's still a broad, low pressure system, but most computer models and the environment Environment is expected to be favorable so it looks like this could potentially become either a tropical storm or maybe even a hurricane more on the track in just a moment back over to the east of this we do have another area of development this one has about a 60 percent chance of developing over the next five days this one will be tracking out to the west and very well may also become some sort of tropical system out in the eastern or central portions of the atlantic ocean within the next five days and you can pl see plenty of storm activity right now coming off the coast of africa another surprise area of development Development that we have ongoing pretty far to the northeast of Bermuda by about 800 miles or so. This, this area has about a 70% chance of developing within the next five days and a 60% chance in the next 48 hours. So this also could potentially become Tropical Storm Danielle if the other one doesn't develop before. Uh, this system, though, is going to be most likely tracking out to the northeast. You can see a lot of thunderstorm activity, as I mentioned before. It may also become subtropical as it moves off to the east towards areas like England within the next five to 10 days. Let's take a closer look into Invest 91L and look at this system right now. A huge amount of deep convection ongoing with this. And it is obviously a lot of thunderstorm activity is what I'm referring to. You can see all the blacks and as well as the white and as well as the pink colors representing extremely high cloud tops. We are looking at some pretty significant thunderstorm activity with this system. The only thing is it's just not overly organized, but it is expected to become organized as it tracks out to the west northwest over the next several days. So this will be a system to watch for very quickly closely but as of right now it is fighting off a little bit of dry air here's a look as of right now at the computer models where is it being brought as of right now in terms of where we could see this go could it impact land as of right now most computer models or at least the ensembles are representing the system going most likely kind of just to the north of the lesser Antilles and eventually kind of taking a little bit of a boomerang turn off to the northeast that would prevent anywhere like in Florida or the United States from being hit by this and most computer models are bringing this tropical system at least to a tropical storm a few of them do bring it up to a category one to even a category two hurricane you can see that one outlier bring it to a category three hurricane regardless though it does not seem like at least at this given time this specific system will at least impact the united states but there is another one that we're watching pretty closely not expected to impact us either but this is the one invest 93l up in the northern atlantic ocean that currently has a pretty significant chance of developing and it's expected to move off to the east and east northeast a 60 percent chance in the next 48 hours you can see it has a pretty decent circulation as of right now only sustained winds near 30 miles per hour but it is expected to intensify over the next 48 hours or so most computer models are bringing this one up at least to a category one hurricane if not even potentially to a category two hurricane as it starts to shift out to the east most likely towards england it is expected to potentially become a tropical storm before becoming subtropical as it moves towards england Here's a look at the computer models on Invest 91L. This is a look at the GFS model, and currently it's expected to go towards the Lesser Antilles. It is again going to be forecasted to stay just off to the north of those, but it might bring some a little bit of some maybe some storm surge or something like that to that region. Eventually, heading into next week, the GFS model starts to strengthen this up to potentially a hurricane. Obviously, if this were to occur, it still likely will not impact the United States. But as of right now, most computer models, including the GFS model, bring this off to the northeast. It may, though, impact areas like Bermuda. Here is a look at the European model. This is also showing kind of a similar instance of the direction, at least. But the one difference is it's not intensifying it nearly as much. And that would most likely be due to the fact there's just so much dry air around the system. But you can see that it gets at least to a tropical storm level, most likely by sometime next week. But regardless of its development, it likely will make some minor impacts to areas like the Lesser and Greater Antilles, as well as even maybe the Bahamas. And I also want to touch on this real quick. There is a potential for 
for some flash flooding during the day today and tomorrow for southwestern Texas. This would go mainly for the hill country, but again, potential for flooding totals as high as seven to eight inches may occur in some isolated locations. Otherwise, a widespread two to four inches is most likely going to occur in those areas in that moderate threat, and that's the red shaded region. Eventually, heading to the following day tomorrow, there is a slight risk back up into north Texas. Beyond that, though, there is still a moderate threat back down in the hill country. Again, the main concern is flash flooding. Totals, again, could potentially reach as high as seven to eight inches in very isolated locations. Here's a look at the computer models. Most areas are forecast to, to at least see between one to three inches. So again, some flash flooding concerns could build into this area. Make sure to stay safe out this direction. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting and All Dents Repair.